Turn this ship around right now, or every single one of you Iconian bastards will die in screaming agony. Captain Thomas Williams spat the words through gritted teeth at the viewscreen, the withered visage of Councillor Craxon staring back impassively. The year was 2257 AD. For fifteen long years, ever since humanity first ventured to the stars, the Galactic Council had treated them with nothing but condescension and disdain. Led by the arrogant Iconians, they dismissed humans as primitives, savages too backward and violent to have a voice on the galactic stage. But humanity would not grovel, would not submit. Even when the Council made their demands, abandon the colony, submit to our rule, or face annihilation. And now Williams found himself here, aboard the warship HSS Indomitable, facing down the assembled Iconian Armada, staring into the eyes of the being who would see his entire species enslaved or dead. The Indomitable was but one ship. The Council had hundreds, thousands, legions upon legions ready to wipe humanity from the cosmos. But the humans would not run, would not hide, would not surrender. This was their warning, their only warning, Turn back now or embrace destruction. The Galactic Council had come for the humans. The humans gave them a choice. Submit or die. The Indomitable slid into orbit around Iconia Prime, its hull gleaming under the harsh glare of the system's binary stars. Captain Williams stood on the bridge, his face set in a mask of grim determination as he watched the viewscreen. The planet below was a mottled red and brown, its surface scarred by centuries of Iconian industry and conquest. A chime sounded, and the viewscreen flickered to life. The face of an Iconian guard, his features sharp and angular, filled the screen. Captain Williams, you are hereby summoned to appear before the Galactic Council to answer for your species' crimes. You will be escorted to the Council Chamber immediately. Williams nodded curtly. Understood. He turned to his security detail, a hand-picked team of the Indomitable's finest. Let's go. The guard met them in the hangar bay, flanked by a dozen heavily armed Iconian soldiers. They marched through the corridors of the Iconian capital ship, their boots ringing on the metal deck. The walls were adorned with the emblems of the Council's member species, each one a reminder of the power and influence the Iconians wielded over the galaxy. At last they reached the council chamber. It was a vast, imposing room, with towering walls that seemed to stretch up into infinity. Representatives from dozens of alien species lined the chamber, their eyes fixed on the human delegation with a mixture of curiosity and disdain. In the center of the room, seated on a raised dais, was Craxon, the Iconian representative. He was an imposing figure, his skin a deep crimson, his eyes glittering with malice. Captain Williams, he said, his voice echoing through the chamber. You stand accused of violating Iconian territory, engaging in aggressive expansion, disregarding the sovereignty of other species, and developing advanced weaponry that threatens the stability of the galaxy. How do you plead? Williams stepped forward, his chin held high. Not guilty, Counselor. The Terran Union has always sought peace and cooperation with our galactic neighbors. It is the Iconians who have a history of conquest and subjugation, not humanity. Craxon's eyes narrowed. You dare accuse us? It is humanity that has spread like a plague across the stars, seizing territory and resources that rightfully belong to others. We have only ever defended ourselves and our allies, Williams countered. It is the Council that seeks to keep humanity in check, fearing our potential to challenge your unjust rule. The chamber erupted in shouts and jeers, the representatives of a dozen species hurling insults and accusations at the human delegation. Craxon slammed his fist down on the dais, silencing the crowd. Enough! Your species' fate will be decided by this council, Captain, and we will not be swayed by your baseless... A loud beep interrupted Craxon's tirade. Williams looked down at his wrist communicator to see an urgent message from the Indomitable. His eyes widened as he read the contents. Captain, what is the meaning of this interruption? Craxon demanded. Williams looked up, his face grim. My ship's sensors have detected a massive Iconian fleet converging on our position, 
far larger than anything we've encountered before. The chamber fell silent. Craxon leaned forward, his eyes glittering. A routine security measure, nothing more. Your ship will stand down and submit to our authority. But William shook his head. I don't think so, Counselor. I believe the Council's true intent is to eliminate humanity's presence in the galaxy, using this trial as a mere distraction. He turned to his security detail, his hand moving to the phaser at his hip. We're leaving now. William's hand darted to his hidden communicator. He tapped a sequence of buttons, transmitting a prearranged signal to the human fleet positioned just outside the Iconian system. It was time to initiate Operation Trojan Horse. The human ships began to retreat, hundreds of vessels turning tail and fleeing from the approaching Iconian armada. The Iconian ships surged forward in pursuit, like predators chasing wounded prey. They could taste victory, the complete annihilation of the human threat. But as the Iconian fleet chased the human ships deeper into space, they left Iconia Prime exposed. Craxon and the Council were so focused on the trial, they failed to notice the planet's vulnerability. They didn't know about the Human Special Forces team that had infiltrated Iconia Prime before the Indomitable's arrival. These operatives, disguised in the drab grey uniforms of Iconian maintenance workers, had spent weeks planting explosives at critical points across the planet. Defence grids, power plants, communication towers, all were armed with human-made bombs waiting for the signal. As the Iconian fleet pursued the retreating humans, the signal came. Explosions bloomed across Iconia Prime's surface. The defence grid faltered and failed, turrets and shields collapsing in flames. Power stations erupted in showers of sparks and debris, plunging cities into darkness. Communication hubs vaporised, leaving the Iconians deaf and blind. Iconia Prime descended into chaos, but the greatest shock was yet to come. From the depths of Iconian space, a hidden fleet of human stealth ships decloaked. These vessels, invisible to Council sensors, had been waiting for this moment. They descended on the Iconian homeworld like avenging angels, weapons blazing. Missiles rained down on military bases, reducing them to rubble. Plasma blasts gutted government buildings and incinerated communication centers. The Iconian forces, scattered and disorganized by the sabotage, struggled to mount a defense. Their ships were out of position, their ground forces in disarray. On the bridge of the Indomitable, still in orbit, Captain Williams allowed himself a grim smile as he watched the Iconian defenses crumble. The Council had underestimated humanity for the last time. In the council chamber, Craxon rose to his feet, his face contorted with rage and disbelief. What have you done, human? Williams met the Iconian's gaze, his eyes hard. We're finishing what you started, Counselor. You wanted a war, now you've got one. The tension in the galactic council chamber reached a boiling point as Craxon's voice boomed through the air. Guards, seize them! The Iconian soldiers leveled their weapons at Williams and his team, fingers tightening on the triggers. But before they could fire, Williams pressed a button on his wrist device. A shimmering blue energy field enveloped him and his security detail, forming a protective bubble around them. The Iconians opened fire, plasma bolts splashing harmlessly against the energy shield. Craxon's eyes widened in disbelief. Impossible! Human technology is not advanced enough for personal energy shielding, Williams allowed himself a small smirk. You underestimated us, Counselor. A mistake you won't live to regret. With a nod to his team, Williams drew his phaser and opened fire. The human's weapons, modified with shield-penetrating technology, cut through the Iconian guards like a hot knife through butter. The soldiers fell, their lifeless bodies hitting the floor with dull thuds. Craxon cowered behind his podium, as the humans fought their way out of the chamber, energy shields absorbing the incoming fire. The other council members fled in panic, their screams echoing through the halls. Williams and his team raced through the corridors of the Iconian ship, their shields deflecting the sporadic bursts of weapons fire from the few guards they encountered. They reached the hangar bay where their shuttle was docked, piling inside and sealing the hatch. 
Moments later, the shuttle blasted out of the hangar, streaking towards the Indomitable. As they approached the human warship, Williams could see the fierce space battle raging above Iconia Prime. The human stealth ships, having caught the Iconians off guard, were pressing their attack. But the sheer number of Iconian vessels was beginning to turn the tide. Williams docked the shuttle and sprinted to the Indomitable's bridge, barking orders as he went. Helm! Set a course for the heart of the battle. Tactical, charge all weapons, and prepare to engage the enemy. The Indomitable surged forward, its advanced engines propelling it towards the fray. As they neared the battle, the ship's cutting-edge weaponry came to life, lancing out with beams of pure energy that sliced through Iconian ships like a scythe through wheat. The Iconian vessels turned their attention to the Indomitable, recognizing the human flagship as the greater threat. Plasma bolts and missiles streaked towards the ship, but its advanced shielding held firm, absorbing the impacts with barely a shudder. With the Iconian fleet focused on the Indomitable, the human stealth ships redoubled their efforts, picking off enemy vessels one by one. The tide of the battle began to turn, the Iconians falling back before the relentless human assault. As the Iconian lines crumbled, Williams opened a channel to the enemy fleet. His face appeared on the viewscreens of every Iconian ship, cold determination etched into his features. Attention, Iconian forces. This is Captain Williams of the Terran Union. We have placed gravitational anomaly generators in key locations throughout your space. These devices, based on technology you dismissed as primitive, have the power to create artificial singularities that will tear your empire apart. He paused, letting his words sink in. If you do not immediately cease your aggression and agree to negotiate a peaceful resolution, we will activate the generators. The choice is yours, Iconians. Stand down or face the consequences. A tense silence fell over the battlefield as the Iconian commanders processed William's ultimatum. The seconds ticked by, each one feeling like an eternity. Then, one by one, the Iconian ships began to power down their weapons, their engines going dark. A message came through on the Indomitable's comm system, the voice of a defeated Iconian admiral filling the bridge. Captain Williams, the Iconian Empire hereby surrenders. We agree to your terms and request an immediate ceasefire. May the negotiations begin. Williams allowed himself a moment of satisfaction before responding. Acknowledged, Admiral. Stand by for further instructions. He turned to his crew, pride shining in his eyes. Well done, everyone. Today, humanity has shown the galaxy what we're truly capable of. The Council will never underestimate us again. Faced with the grim spectre of total annihilation, a chilling silence fell over the Galactic Council chamber. Craxon's face twisted into a mask of barely contained rage and frustration as he realized the precariousness of the Iconian's position. With a curt nod to his advisers, he turned back to face Williams, his voice strained. Very well, Captain. The Iconian Empire will agree to a temporary ceasefire while we discuss the terms of a more permanent arrangement. William's eyes narrowed, his stance unwavering. I'm glad you've seen reason, Counselor. But make no mistake, this is not a request. It's a demand. The Terran Union will not back down until our sovereignty and right to self-determination are fully recognized and respected. As the human and Iconian fleets disengaged, pulling back from the brink of all-out war, Williams and Craxon met on the neutral ground of a small, uninhabited planet near the border of their respective territories. The atmosphere was tense, the air thick with resentment and mistrust as the two leaders faced each other across a simple metal table. For weeks, they engaged in a delicate dance of diplomacy, each side pushing for concessions and advantages. Craxon sought to limit humanity's expansion and access to advanced technology, while Williams demanded full recognition of human sovereignty and an end to Iconian interference in their affairs. Tempers flared and accusations flew, but slowly, painfully, a fragile agreement began to take shape. The Iconians would recognize humanity's right to self-governance and expansion within certain defined borders, 
In return, the humans would dismantle the gravitational anomaly generators and share some of their technological advancements with the wider galactic community. As the final terms were hammered out and the treaty was signed, Williams couldn't shake a sense of unease. He knew that the Iconians, and indeed many other species in the Galactic Council, still viewed humanity as a threat to be contained or eliminated. This peace, he feared, would be short-lived. His fears proved prescient. In the years that followed, a cold war of sorts emerged between the humans and the Iconians. Each side raced to expand their influence and military capabilities, forming alliances and proxy conflicts across the galaxy. Planets and star systems became pawns in a vast game of galactic chess, their allegiances shifting with the tides of power. As tensions mounted and the specter of open conflict loomed ever larger, Williams, now an aging admiral, found himself at the center of this great galactic game. His days were spent poring over intelligence reports and strategic maps, always seeking to stay one step ahead of humanity's enemies. Yet even as he worked tirelessly to safeguard humanity's future, Williams couldn't help but wonder if this cycle of mistrust and aggression could ever truly be broken. Were humans and Iconians, and all the other species of the galaxy, doomed to forever view each other with suspicion and hostility? Or was there some way, however distant and difficult, to find common ground and build a lasting peace? As he gazed out at the stars from the observation deck of his flagship, Williams knew that the answer to those questions would likely not come in his lifetime. But he held on to a flicker of hope that someday, somehow, the beings of the galaxy would find a way to coexist, to see each other not as rivals or threats, but as partners in a grand cosmic journey. For now, though, humanity would have to stand strong and ready, facing an uncertain future in a galaxy that seemed all too eager to snuff out their light. And Williams would be there, leading the charge until his last breath. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.